Traditionally, you only begin spiritual life when something in you is awakened, when you have had an experience. Mm. The Sufis call it tauba, the turning of the heart. Um, something in you glimpses another reality than just the world of the senses, than just the world of the mind and the emotions. And then traditionally the spiritual journey begins. This is this moment of grace that is given to the human being. And so I suppose you are right that there has to be a if you like, a moment of collective grace <laughs> to wake up the whole of humanity, but it doesn't seem to have happened yet. And all I can do is say there seems to be a need to prepare the ground so that if such a moment should happen, if there should be something that collectively awakens humanity, the whole of humanity, to this other reality that is so present, because it's not something abstract, it's not an ideal, it's the fact that everything is one, is, is an ecological reality, it is, a, it is a reality on many levels, that, that one can begin to prepare the stepping stone, so to speak, the, the foundations, so that if this moment of grace should happen to the whole, not just to humanity, because I think it happens to the whole world, I think it is a global awakening means an awakening of the world. That so, so the foundations are made. Otherwise, as T.S. Eliot said, we had the experience but missed the meaning. And But how it is going to happen, I don't know. I thought it would be much simpler. And I thought there would be something in, in a way, the heart of every seeker that would respond. 